How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It is Saturday, July 31st. Can you believe it? It's already the last day of July. I can't, where, where did it go? I mean, we've been at, and we've been so many places in the month of July alone. I mean, we in at the start of July we were at my grandma's in Pennsylvania, and then we went back to my mom's in Pennsylvania. Then we went to dad's. Then we went to well, on top of all the other locations, we went like the zoo and the safari, and I think that might have been in June actually. I can't remember, but basically, and we went to the rodeo and so many other places since I've been been, been back here with my grandpa. Man, July was an eventful month. We had so much go down. I'm in the garage. Um, and I, I guess at this point, you guys probably know, oh boy, he's in the garage. He's going to be doing something work-wise. Usually, I do a vlog clip before I mow or paint or something like that. But today is painting day. It's been so hot all week this week, I haven't been able to come out and paint because it's been just so hot and humid and muggy. Um, I haven't really gone out, come out here to paint. And we had a good amount of rain last night, uh, some thunderstorms and stuff like that. And uh, it's only like 70-some degrees. Like, I think last time I refreshed my weather on my phone, it said it was only 68. But that might have been like an, a couple hours ago. Um, but it's cloudy. It's kind of breezy, but it feels really, really good outside. Really, really nice. Not hot at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the paint. I'm going to dump it in my bucket. And I'm going to go over to the machine shed. And I'm going to paint that one white door that's out that you can see. Like I've said before, there's two doors on that machine shed. But one's always pushed back behind the wall that closes from the inside. So when it's open, it's inside the building. Um, so you can, he doesn't, my grandpa really doesn't shut that one. So he said really don't worry about that one. So I'm going to focus on the one door that's out that you can see. I'm going to paint it. It definitely needs a paint job. And then um, apparently the sun is supposed to come out. Um, and it's like, I guess I haven't even said the time. It's about 1140 right now. So I have a feeling I'll be stopped here soon for lunch. But uh, then, as long as it stays nice and cool, I might go ahead and use my ladder and get up on the roof of the house and paint the one uh, angled section. Uh, and oh my gosh, that needs a lot of paint. It needs a lot of TLC. It needs done bad. Um, but I haven't been able to do that because of one, the heat. And two, I have to wait until um, either early morning or late evening when the sun's not shining right down onto the shingles and it gives the shingles a chance to cool down. But with it being cooler today, with it being cloudy today, I want to kind of take advantage of that and I should be able to get up there and it shouldn't take me that long. I'll have to, do, I'll have to, take, a, I'll have to take the old putty knife and do some scraping up there first and then, uh, oop, dropped it. Well, I'll have to take the putty knife, do some scraping on it, and then I'll be able to paint it. It definitely needs a lot of paint. Um, but number one right now, I want to go ahead and get the machine shed door done because that's the last big part of white that I have to do. Um, the only other parts of white that I have to do besides the machine shed is that one little angled part on the house, and I'll show you. Those two little windows way up there on the barn. I've done all that stuff. I've done that stuff, all the white on the barn down here, but I still have to do those guys. And that's way up high. So I will have to so I'll have to use um, the genie man lift for that. We'll have to bring it home one day when we're not using it. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and open up the old paint bucket, get it all stirred, and get back in the painting routine. I wanna get at least the machine shed door done for now. Like I said, I'll probably be stopped here for lunch, but uh, that'll be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and paint, guys, and I'll catch you guys in just a bit. Alrighty, everybody. It is now 7.45 at night. It's been quite a while. Um, I've been out here for probably about an hour. Uh, no, maybe about 50 minutes-ish. I've been uh, working out. I've just been walking around the property. Uh, I thought today, instead of jogging and whatnot, I'll just walk for a while. Because walking, you're still moving and... Uh, I mean, I've been walking for a while, and I'm feeling, uh, I don't feel tired, but I do feel, like, tightness in my ab muscles um, and stuff like that. So they're getting their workout. They're getting worked out. Um, but uh, I was walking, and I was listening to some country music on Spotify, 
and uh, I, uh, I guess I, I still had my phone volume turned down, but uh, I was getting curious as to what time it was getting to be. This was about half hour ago. I was getting curious to know what time it was, so I pulled my phone out of my pocket, and I seen that uh, my one of my grandmas was calling me. Not the one that I am living with, and not the one I went to visit. My other grandma, my dad's mom. And so I thought, oh, I thought, uh, my first thought was, of course, oh, she's calling me. And I thought, hopefully she hasn't tried calling already, and I missed a call from her. Um, so I answered, and uh, she kind of pitched an idea at me. Um, my grandma, I think I've said this before, but uh, my grandma, uh, she has a, I think it's a 2011 uh, Chevy Camaro. And uh, she's had it for years. But uh, she takes it to a lot of car shows, and she shows it, and she's gotten a bunch of first place prizes uh, for this car. And it's a really nice car. I've ridden in it. Really, really nice car. Um, but she was calling, and when while we were on the phone, she asked me. She says, she says we're gonna be um, going to a car show tomorrow that uh, we've never been to before. She says, uh, where we're going isn't too far from where you're at. And so I thought, oh, okay. And she asked me, she asked me if I would, um, if I was, if I would like to, um, if I would, uh, go up there, drive up to the car show and, uh, visit with them, see them and, uh, help out at the car show, be, walk around, look at the cars, all that cool stuff. Um, and she said she was kind of she was kind of giving me what times she was going to be there, and she said that they're going to be up there at like eight or eight o'clock in the morning, but the judging doesn't start till like eleven or so. So I told her, I says, uh, she said, if you don't have work or anything, and I said, no, I said Sundays are always our guaranteed days off, and uh, I told her, I says, um, I'll probably end up leaving here probably about 10 in the morning, 10, 10, 15, because this, the town where they're going to be is about 38 miles away from here. So I leave about 10, 10, 15. That'll put me there a little before 11. So I'm there a little before judging. So that gives me a chance to find a place to park and get to them and meet up with them and stuff like that. But uh, she uh, asked me if I would, she, want, she wanted to know if I would do that because uh, they wanted to see me and stuff like that. And I says, uh, I, th I said, I think that'd be fun. So my thought process is, uh, judging starts at like 11 for the cars. So I'll be there a little before 11. I'll visit with grandma and grandpa, I'll hang out. And they give the awards and the trophies um, at about four. And so I thought, okay, that works out great. And she said, right after they give out the trophies and whatnot, they normally leave and head home. And so I thought, okay, that would work out perfect for me um, if I go straight about 10, 10, 15, I leave here and I go up to um, the car show and I meet with my grandma and grandpa and we hang out till about four-ish when it's time to leave um, and they'll leave, head home and then I'll leave and on my way back here, like I said, the fair is halfway between here and there. So I'll stop at the fair, and I'll at least walk around the barns for a little bit. Um, walk around the barns, hang out, at least look at the animals. Um, maybe catch a little bit of the horse fun show or something like that. And then, um, once I'm done at the fair, I'll just continue on my, on my way back here. And I'll come back here, and uh, we'll shut it down for the day. And... Uh, uh, we'll, uh, you know, chill out, go to bed, wake up in the morning on Monday, go to work. But uh, that kind of just came out of nowhere. My grandma just called and asked me if I would, uh, she said we're gonna be, they're going to be close by if I wanted to come up and see them. Uh, and I, it hasn't been too, too long since I've seen them. They were, I saw them in May. Uh, they came to my dad's house uh, for Tyler's graduation. So it hasn't been too, too long since I've seen them. But it's always good to see your grandparents. Um, case in point, um, 
I've been living with one set of my grandparents for a few months, uh, working construction, and then uh, I just got home from a trip not too long ago to Pennsylvania to see my other grandma. Um, and uh, now I have a chance to uh, see my other set of grandparents. So I can officially say this whole summer I've been able to see every single one of my grandparents, which I haven't been able to do in 15 years um, because back in the day, my grandma, who, who lives in Pennsylvania, used to live in the town where the fair is that I'm going to go to. And so we were all kind of close by um, together because my dad and everybody used to live in the town that I'm in now, not too far from my grandpa's. Um, we did a job at that house not too long ago uh, when my mom and my dad were still together. And uh, so now we've split up. So I haven't been able to see all of my grandparents in a short amount of time in a long, long time. And so I think this would be cool. And I'll be able to get some cool footage of the cars. We'll be starting August with a bang. Um, we'll be having a lot of fun tomorrow by the sounds of it. But uh, I've been walking for about an hour now. Um, I'm going to go in here in a little bit and take a shower. And of course, I'll tell my grandma and grandpa about um, my grandma calling and my plan for tomorrow. But I think that'll be a fun idea, a fun time to be with my grandma and grandpa up there at the car show. It's not too far from here, so it'll be nice. And that'll technically count um, tomorrow because Sunday, tomorrow's Sunday, so that'll count for a pretty good uh, weekly drive uh, for the car. Um, that'll be really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. You guys will be able to have some fun at the car show and the fair with me. I think we'll have a good time. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here. Um, I'm going to be walking for a little while longer. I wouldn't say I'm getting tired, but like I said, I'm feeling some tightness in my abs, um, at my core. I'm getting this cardio in. Um, really working it out really really good and it's good for you even just walking like this i kind of like this just walking for a while um that's all i really that's all i really need ultimately burning off some calories losing some weight you know chopping it off <laughs> but i think tomorrow will be a really really fun day uh like i said i didn't anticipate the car show i thought i was just going to go to the fair and i was anticipating you know i said i, I was telling myself Man, I'd like to go to the fair all day, be up there in the morning, see the pigs, the pig show, all of that, and stay until after the horse show in the afternoon. But uh, then I got the call from my grandma about the car show, and I thought, you know what? I think that'll be better to fill my morning, because um, I'd rather see the horse fun show and the cows uh, in the evening and stuff. And I can still explore the barns, and it's not like the pigs aren't going to be there. The pigs will be there. Um... So I think that would be a very, very good idea. So that's our plan for tomorrow. Uh, when I go in, I'll tell my grandma and grandpa about it um, since it just came up. But I think it'll be fun. Uh, I've been to a car show before with my grandma and grandpa, but that was years and years ago. But it's always cool to see the cool cars that they have. Older cars, newer cars. It's really, really cool to see. Um, but I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have fun too. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here, guys. Um, I'll probably walk for a little while longer and then go in, take a shower, and uh, tell Grandma and Grandpa about the plan for tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday. It's our guaranteed day off. Grandpa has church in the morning, um, so I think it'll be a good, good thing. And plus, um, before I leave for the car show, um, tomorrow is Sunday, which means um, it is room dusting and sweeping day. Um, that's what, something that my grandma wants me to do every week to make sure my room stays nice and clean. Um, so I'll clean, I'll sweep and dust um, tomorrow morning um, before I go to the car show. So this way my room's clean and it's all set and ready to go. So that since I'll be gone all day the rest of the day, um, I don't have to worry about it. So that'll be the plan for tomorrow. Really eventful. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. I hope, uh, I think we'll have a lot of fun. I'm um, seeing my family. Uh, like I said, my family's everything. And so I'm um, being able to say that I've seen all, every single one of my grandparents 
um, this summer, uh, the summer of 21, will be really memorable for me. So that'll be really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to walk for a little while. I, like I said, it's been about an hour uh, I've been walking, so I'll probably go for a little while longer. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching so far. Buckle up. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day. Hope you guys are ready. So thank you guys so much for watching. Good night, everyone. I'll see you guys for an eventful day starting in the morning. All right, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It is Sunday, August 1st. It is 10.09 in the morning, so kind of a late start today. But I figured I would just, uh, I kind of rambled on last night about the plans for today. So you guys kind of, you guys already know what we're going to do today. Um, so I didn't think I'd have to explain it again this morning, uh, early on. But uh, it's 10.09 and I just left the house in the car. I am headed over to the car show uh, to meet up with my other grandma and grandpa who are going to be showing their Camaro there today. And I'll be there to hang out with them and help them out in any way I can and just hang out. I think it'll be a good time. They said judging starts at about 11, so I'll be there about 11. And they said awards are given out at about 4-ish, so um, we'll be leaving after that. And so I'll be headed over to the fairgrounds, actually, which is about halfway between here and um, the car show uh, on my way back. And we're going to swing by the local county fair. And we're going to take a look in the barns, look at the animals, have ourselves some fun. You guys know my love of fairs. And I had talked about possibly, I think I possibly talked about going to the county fair here while I was at my other county fair back home. Um, so um, I had kind of planned this out a little bit, but today it kind of works out great. Uh, basically today um, I woke up and I just chilled out with grandma and grandpa and then um, grandpa went off to church. And uh, I started, uh, I went ahead and I did my dusting and my sweeping um, for my room. I try to do that once a week. Grandma wants me to try to do that once a week just to keep the dust and stuff down. So I went ahead and did that this morning. Got that all done. And then I just, uh, and then I shaved. I got all nice and uh, shaved and uh, ready to rock and roll. And then I just kind of chilled out until about 10 o'clock. And then... Um, I told grandma I'd see her later and I hopped in the car and here we are. So that's basically all that's happened so far today. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get on up there. It's about 38 miles. Um, I'm going to hit the interstate and head west a little ways um, to go to this car show to meet up with grandma and grandpa. But I think this will be fun. This was an unexpected deal. I didn't think this was going to... I, I was expecting just to stay at home all morning and then wait till sometime in the afternoon and go to the county fair and there we go. But when Grandma called last night and asked me um, if I want to ask me if I would uh, if I wanted to, I could uh, show up at the car show and hang out with them. I thought, sure, why not? I've got the day off. Might as well make the most of it, right? So uh, today's a pretty good day. Starting off August with a bang. So uh, that'll be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get on up to the car show, guys. I'm going to have to use my GPS, um, once I guaranteed once I hit the interstate, so I know what exit to get off at. Um, I know my way up to the interstate, but I just got to get the rest of the way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get up to the car show, guys. We'll be looking at some really cool cars and stuff like that. I think it'll be really, really fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get up there, guys. Let's have a fun day today, and I'll catch you guys when we get up there. All right, guys, it's now 1048, and I just parked the car in the town where the car show is. It took me a minute to find a place to park, but I do see they've got the road closed up ahead of me. I had I kind of had to go around the block because I, I was on the, the main, getting off the interstate take puts you right on the main drag to put you right into town. And so they had that closed off for the car show. So I had to kind of go around, and I think I found a good spot. Um, I didn't see anything about no parking. There are some other cars around me. Um, so I think I'll be okay. Um, but I see some, uh, I see all the antique cars up ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and head up there, find my grandma and grandpa in their car, and we'll have some fun, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I'll catch you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, so we're here at the car show, and here is my grandma's Camaro. I found it. I'm going to show you inside. It's 
pretty neat. There goes grandma and grandpa, driving away. There they go. They won uh, second place in uh, their class, which was uh, 
I believe, stock cars from um, 2000 uh, to the present. And they won. Uh, their car is a 2011 Chevy Camaro. And they won second place. So, and this is the first time they've ever come to this show. So they weren't really optimistic on winning anything. But they got second. So all the show cars are on the way out. I'm gonna fire up my car, which is not showable whatsoever. But uh, Grandma and Grandpa won second place in their class today for, uh, I believe, stock car 2000 to the present. Um, they got This is the first time they've ever come to this show, so they weren't really uh, expecting anything big today, but they won. They've got second place, so at least they're going home with something from the, this show for the very first time coming. And man, I had such a good time because I wasn't expecting this, but my aunt, um, one of my uncles, and one of my cousins uh, was here. Uh, for a little while. Uh, I haven't seen them in a very long time since I was young, very, since I was little. I haven't seen them in years and years. Uh, my aunt and uncle um, uh, showed up with one of their kids, my cousin, um, who's around the same age as me. He turns 21 in just a few days um, or next week or something like that, sometime in August. Um, so he's just a little older than I am. I grew up with them, you know, we always had fun together. So it was good to see them. It was really good. They didn't stay for the whole show. They didn't stay for the awards. But we walked around together and everything, and it was a lot of fun. But the fun is not over yet because now I'm headed to the county fair. The county fair is halfway between here and home. So we are going to swing by the fairgrounds, and we are going to um, we're going to go to the fair, look at the animals, have some fun for a little while, and then we'll go home for the night, chill out and then go to bed because then it's back to work first thing tomorrow morning at five o'clock. So might as well get the, the fun's not over yet. I had a lot of fun at this car show. Um, it was really cool. A lot of cool cars, a lot of cool trucks. And of course, being with my grandma, my grandpa, and my aunt and uncle and my cousin, who I haven't seen, like I said, for a while. Um, but um, now it's off to the fair to explore. For the very first time, I'm going to this county fair. So. I'm going to go out here and get back on the interstate and get my way down to the fairgrounds, guys, and I'll catch you guys when I get there. All right, guys, we're now here at the fairgrounds. We've never been to these, uh, never been to these grounds before, so it'll be uh, a new experience. We'll be able to see some new animals and such, and it'll be really, really cool. So I just go to the gate, I suppose. I'll be ready. Come on through the gate, and here we are. We're into the cows already. Here we go. Let's have some fun.
So far so good, a lot of pigs. That's two and a half barns full of pigs. And I still got two more barns to go through here. We've seen the cows, we've seen the pigs. I'm kind of walking up the alley. So I have a feeling there's more pigs up here. I probably shouldn't be walking in this area, but we'll get there when we get there. By the looks of it, there's quite a bit of equipment on display here. Uh, at my, at the county fair back home, there was only a few uh, deals, a few tractors, but here, there's quite a few. Look at this, we got a couple New Holland pieces of equipment here. We got a huge, look at the bucket on this New Holland skid loader. I mean, that's massive. New Holland L328 skid loader. Beautiful machine. Look at that. Right here. Look at this big tractor. This is a uh, New Holland T8 380 Genesis. How beautiful is this tractor? Dual wheels all the way around. That's awesome. Couple attachments. We got a, C3, a C337 Super Boom New Holland with a, a box scraper on the front. That's cool. And then there's kind of a, a silage auger here. That's cool. Just look at the view of the tractor from here. That's cool. All right, we got some more equipment here. We got a Cat 242D3 skid loader. We got a big old Fent, look at that, a Fent 930 Vario, isn't that huge? I don't think I've ever actually seen a Fent before. Wow. And then here, a John Deere 8R 370, so technically an 83, an 8370R is what this guy is. Wow. Oh, and then there's a rake. Look at this tractor. Oh, and this tractor's attached to uh, an implement, a harrow. That is beautiful.
So I think we've seen all the animals. So now it's just a matter of looking at the schedule, uh, seeing when sh what shows are when, and I gotta figure out where they are. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat, and we'll head to our first show. All right, it's been quite a while. Um, I watched some of the cow show, cow calf, feeder calf, and it was really cool. Um, then I went over, and I'm just leaving the horse arena from seeing the horse fun show. They're still going, but I'm leaving because you can hear the announcer up here. Right now they're doing um, golf cart races. So I want to come over here, check out the golf cart races, and then I'll probably be back, then I'll probably head back to Grandpa's. Golf cart races, something I've never really seen before. So I'll get some footage of that for you guys. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's blindfolded. The driver's blindfolded. And the person in the passenger side has to uh, has to instruct them on where to go. Put the ball in and take it home here. Follow the lines. Not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, it's now about 7.45, um, I just got in my car, I think I'm going to go ahead and head on home. Uh, <laughs> those golf cart races, they weren't what I expected them to be, I thought there'd be like multiple golf carts and then like race to something. I didn't think it'd be one, the same golf cart, just different teams, but oh my gosh, it was so funny. Because uh, if you didn't, uh, basically how the game works is uh, the driver has shades on that blindfolds them, they can't see. And they have uh, a teammate uh, in the passenger seat of the golf cart with a microphone. And they have to tell them instructions, left, right, straight. And they have to follow this intricate course. So they got to follow that white line all the way around to a circle. They got to do a full circle around that barrel. Then they have a set of balls that they have to drop into the barrel. And then they have to finish out their circle. Uh, and then go around, uh, go over a hump, and then back over to the finish line. Um... Fastest so far has been 58 seconds by a couple younger guys, and a uh, <laughs> couple races, they've, uh, they uh, went so far to the uh, left of the line, close to the finish line, that they about hit people in the front row, so they asked people to move up about three rows, so that uh, nobody gets hurt and hit by the golf cart, <laughs> but it's funny, it, it, I, that was a lot of fun, um, but today was a lot of fun, uh, we went up to the car show, uh, to see my grandma and grandpa, and I kind of got surprised. My my aunt, my uncle, and my cousin were also there. I hadn't seen them in a long, long time, so it was good to see them. And then uh, uh, I, I stayed until the very end of the car show with my grandma and grandpa. They ended up getting second place in their class with their Camaro. And then I left, came right here to the fair, walked around the barns, checked out the cow shows, uh, checked out a little bit of the horse fun show, and then checked out the golf cart races. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and head home, and honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. 
I know it's only been a couple days, but there's so much footage. If I keep going, um, it will, uh, it'll be a very long video. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. I'll pick up uh, the next video. We'll be starting tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we'll be just back to work, 5 o'clock in the morning up in Adam. we got to figure out how to uh, build out that big swing door that goes up top um, so that they can still get bales in. We got to, me and Grandpa have to think about what we're going to do for that. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I'll do my walk tonight because, one, it's getting late enough already. And, two, I've done quite a bit of walking today, actually. You know, just walking around the car show, walking around the fair. I did quite a bit of walking, so I think my walk has been covered for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. Spread the word of the channel. Thank you guys for having fun with me. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.